everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a q and I'm super excited. By the way, I'm filming at nighttime for the first time, so if you... What do you think of the lighting? I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And if I look like I don't have a lot of energy, just because it's pretty late and I'm just exhausted. <laughs> but I really wanted to film this video, so I asked you on Instagram to ask me some questions and on Snapchat. So I will be answering as many as I can, so let's do this. A lot of them are repeats, by the way, or some that I've already answered in the past, so I'll link down below other videos that I did like this. Would you ever consider moving to the US? Think of all the makeup. <laughs> Actually, I probably would part-time, like moving to the US for the winter and coming back for summer in Canada. Can I do this? That's what I would do. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? Except, like, siblings fight? No. Nicola asks, how many pro province or territories have you been to? I'm super boring. I've only been to Quebec and Ontario. Unless I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I haven't been in many different places in Canada. Nor US, I've been like to New Jersey. Actually, more recently LA and New York. That's like... I haven't been traveling that much. I really want to. I got a lot of questions asking me about uh, French videos, doing more, and why I decided to do in English. Uh, I decided to do my videos in English, first of all, to practice because I couldn't practice much back in the day, like two, three years ago when I started. And I do want to do more French videos, but I find it harder to do videos in French than English. Just because, first of all, I know the terms, like makeup terms in English easier. I just know them better. And to be honest, I don't mind people criticizing my English, but I take it really at heart when people criticize my French, not because my French is not good, it's it's very good. Uh, it's just that uh, there's a few, you know what, same thing as English, you know, there's some people from some country that consider their French better and are just very harsh about it and it really annoys me and I just, I want to do videos for fun, I don't want to be pissed off reading comments all the time. When's the last time you lied? Okay, um, a lot of questions were also asking if I have a boyfriend and everything, and I do. I'm not showing him on camera just because I want to keep this part of my life private, at least for now. And he's probably the last person I like to, you know, little wet lies, like I'm sure some of you are going to feel me right now. But, you know, the whole like, is this new? Did you just buy something? Did you order something? No, no, I had it for a while. <laughs> Yeah, we all do this, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've done this recently too. Oh, Stacy asked. Hi, Stacy. See, I remember you. <laughs> if you could have any magical power, what would it be? If I could do this and be anywhere in the world, that would be freaking awesome. Or uh, if you could be any character from Harry Potter, who would you be? Feel free to answer both. Love your channel. It's still my favorite. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, I would probably be Hermione. Her Hermione. I can't say the way you say it in English. Like, I, I'm used to saying it in French, Amien, so I, I don't know how people say it. I'm sure it's different in every language, but yeah, it would be her probably because we're the most alike. And nobody's trying to kill her, so. <laughs> would you rather go without a toothbrush for a month or your Holy Grail makeup brush product? I have so many products that I could easily find something to live with for a month. I need to brush my teeth twice a day. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> what is a personal trait that you love about other people and wish you had yourself or don't think you have yourself? By the way, I, I'm twisting this question, actually. I want to say I think kindness is underrated. I feel like a lot of people are not necessarily kind or take kindness from other uh, for granted. So switching your question, I'm sorry, but I think kindness is something that more people should have or we should love and appreciate more from other people. So yeah. What? <laughs> what color was your poop after you ate the black whopper? <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I haven't had like, is that McDonald's or Burger King? I haven't had any like these type of fast food in years because they make me like physically ill. So I, I can't say. <laughs> What was your first job? I worked in a grocery store. I was cutting cheese and you know the meat and stuff. And for a while I could not eat feta cheese afterwards because I could just not stand the scent anymore. Now I still love it, but first job, it was rough, it was rough. <laughs> Only pick one blush, which one would it be? Love you from Mexico. Hi, uh, I would probably go with Tarte Exposed, which I know I love. I know a lot of people mention, but it's such an underrated, not underrated, but I feel like you look at it in the store and if you don't know anything about YouTube, you're not gonna be interested in that color, but it looks so good on the cheeks. I can't live without one for sure. Okay, you really have a good question. I'm gonna tell you that Farah, 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Would you sleep with Donald Trump if he was the last man on earth? Hell no. Hell no. Would you rather be covered in glitter or covered in maple syrup? Uh, maple syrup because I'm pretty sure it's easier to clean up than glitter. Glitter, you touch glitter once in your life and you're stuck with glitters everywhere for the rest of your life. So maple syrup would be pretty tasty. <laughs> your favorite thing about living in Canada or being Canadian, a fellow Canadian fan of yours, Ah, uh, can I just go back to maple syrup? <laughs> it's just, I can't believe some people have never tasted real maple syrup, not corn syrup, maple syrup. And it's freaking amazing and there's not enough for everyone on the planet, so we're keeping it. We're sorry. <laughs> How were your high school days? Shit. <laughs> I feel like everyone is always saying, oh, it was amazing and not really. Uh, Everyone gets bullied a bit and I just loved sport in school so I was okay but it wasn't amazing. It was certainly not the best days of my life, like no. Are you aware that there are some people like me that see your videos from other countries like Spain for example? How do you feel about it? I love your videos. Thank you. Uh, I don't realize it to be honest. Like I do videos in my room at home alone. Like I don't even realize, like I see it, like I'm almost at 200,000 subs and it's crazy and I'm super thankful, but I don't realize it at all. So yeah, whenever someone recognizes me outside, I'm like, what? <laughs> Am I not talking to myself alone? <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy, but to be honest, I just don't realize it. It's, but it's crazy. <laughs> I'm learning to speak French right now. Do you think it's harder to learn French or English? French for sure. It's like so much more complicated. It's, it's difficult. I know you're currently attending school, but do you want to make YouTube your career? I don't know. Like, I feel like YouTube, you never know what's gonna happen. Everything has been going so well. I can't complain and I still wanna do it like forever. As, like, as long as people wanna watch me, I'm gonna do videos. I love it. So would I make it my career? I don't know because I'm used to like being in school at the same time. When I'm done, we'll see, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I want to keep it as something fun. I feel like if I did that only full time, I don't know if it would still be fun. Probably, but you know. Have you ever considered doing shellac on your nails instead of regular nail polish? I wear contacts. I can't wear anything on my nails that is too long. I have done it in the past and it just feels like you're like taking off your cornea <laughs> whenever you're taking off your uh, contacts. So not anytime soon. If I get my eyes uh, fixed or something, maybe, but I hate nails. Can I just be honest? I hate doing my nails. If I could skip one thing to do in my like whole routine, it would be nail polish, which by the way, this one is actually cute. It's from OPI, um, the collection with Hello Kitty. It's Let's Be Friends, so <laughs> very appropriate for today. Hi, Jen. I see your comments all the time, by the way. What kind of job do you want, uh, do you have outside of YouTube and school? Don't know if you do it all. I don't know sometimes how I do it all. Like I said, I'm filming right now at night and I'm exhausted, but I love it, so I keep doing it. Uh, it's just an office job. I don't want to talk about it too much. I don't think I can, so yeah, just office. Would you do a meetup? Keep an eye out. There's probably going to be one or two during 2016, maybe more. We'll see. Uh, I don't know yet where, but probably something like Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, something around there. Okay, let's go on Snapchat because I'm curious to see your faces. <laughs> so I'm gonna not do like last time and I'm gonna put my volume at max and everything. We have some snapshots over there and we're gonna answer them. I'm hoping everything is about this Q&A and not like random ones because it's been a while since I asked so. <laughs> I keep getting random snaps. I want questions. <laughs> oh, hi Em. I was wondering if you were thinking of making more vlogs. The ones from LA were awesome. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you have a great day greeting from Poland. Okay, um, I will do once in a while, but to be honest, my everyday life is super boring, like super boring, but every time I travel or I do something excited, I'll do vlogs, I promise. Hi, Emily, hello from Brunei. Um, if you don't mind sharing us, uh, who's your men crush? Men crush, I, by the way, he's adorable. Um, recently, I've seen pictures of uh, the son of uh, Clint Eastwood. Not bad, not bad. Shoot, I cut it, but my girl crush, uh, I, Jessica Alba and Rihanna are hot. Like, ridiculously hot. What is the best one wearing nude lipstick? I kind of, well, I feel like you have other ones, but the one I'm wearing right now is from the new NYX uh, lingerie. <laughs> Pink. 
because I love you in your videos. You're so cute. Thank you. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I am currently testing out, slash you will already have seen the video, but the new NYX uh, lingerie, lingerie uh, liquid lipsticks are awesome. And that's what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the color uh, Lace Detail. So I think they're great nude colors and they're super long wearing and they're actually affordable. You saw me in shopping mall and didn't say hi. Like seriously, you have to come and say hi. Like believe me, I'm gonna be as shy as you if not more. And it's just awesome. So next time you see me, I know you're not the only one that uh, told me that. When you see me, come and say hi, please. Unless I'm not wearing makeup, then maybe not. <laughs> Okay, I have a friend that uh, basically messaged me asking me a question for the video. I'm gonna go on a tangent and rant a little bit. I hope you don't mind, but she's basically, she actually said, do you have a speech problem? I get lots of questions and comments about hate comments on YouTube, not wanting to start YouTube because of it. And honestly, excuse my language, but don't just, just don't give a shit about it. Like, who cares? Like you're doing something fun for yourself. Who cares what stranger on the internet think, especially if it's negative? You don't need that in your life. Block, delete. But uh, a lot of people were asking what I get. And to be honest, I've been so lucky. Like everyone has been so nice to me and I just don't like to talk about hate too much because I feel like if you talk about it, it just creates more. And I feel like a Q&A is easy to do because it's usually just my subscribers. So you just won't leave anything nasty because normal people just don't do that. I get a lot of trolling. like. Recently, someone uh, asked if I was a boy or a girl, which a lot of people get offended very easily. Like if I use a lipstick, like MAC lipstick, a lot of people leave comments like that. Oh my God, you're too harsh on your lipstick. You're gonna break down, blah, blah, blah. How dare you? And it's like, take a deep breath. It's just, it's just a lipstick. If I want to, I could just cut them all in pieces and dance around while they burn, which I'm not gonna do, but like they're my lipsticks, you know? Or um, <laughs> do today, see, by the way, I have a great memory, which is the problem. I'll remember nice people, I'll remember your names and pictures, but I'll also remember random random comments left and it's just stuck in my head. Recently, someone was really offended because I kept mentioning that I had fair skin, so this product would work if you have fair skin, white skin, blah, blah, blah. And she was basically saying I was racist and I'm like, see, this one actually offended me, not because I think I'm racist or something, but it's like, you're making a joke out of racism and that's just not okay, like, ugh. But yeah, the comment she was referring to is that actually I got multiple comments letting me know that I had a speech impediment, that I had a speech problem, that I needed to get speech therapy, which sometimes I don't know if people are being serious, trolling, or they just are really uneducated because if you ever went out of your country or your house, you would notice that not everyone is from the same place, not everyone's first language is English and I'm really tired so I feel like I can't speak to you, it doesn't help. Um, everyone has an accent, like if you travel anywhere in the world, you're gonna have an accent, that's just how it works. And I feel like we should not make fun of people for that, I think it's beautiful. I love hearing accent and learning where the people is, where people are from and it's just so much fun and especially on YouTube, it's part of the beauty because everyone is from different countries, they have new products that we don't have and it's fun. And yeah, to be honest, those comments don't affect me at all. It's just, it's just ridiculous. But the other day, one person was actually like so stubborn and I answered like politely as I usually do. And I'm like, no, it's an accent. I'm French Canadian. Each's don't exist, or at least we don't pronounce them. And that's just how it sounds when we speak. It's not just me, you know? And it's like, the person was really stubborn and like, no, 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 you have a speech impediment. Like, don't even try. And it's like, okay, like, what do you want me to say to that? <laughs> so yeah, um, dealing with hate, to be honest, I don't have much to deal with. Most people are really nice. I think I'm more offended, like I said, when people comment that Quebec French is like crap and I'm like, mm. so yeah. I deal with it, I roll my eyes a lot every day. <laughs> but 99% of the time it doesn't affect me. I, If it does, it's just for a few seconds. I run to someone and I move on and I'm good to go. Yeah. So if you were thinking of doing YouTube and you just didn't want to, and you just were scared of it, just don't be. Just do it for yourself, that's all that matters. 
Oh, by the way, it reminds me, uh, the other day I got someone being also really offended that clearly my half and half video that I did recently with the uh, Colourpop and Revlon was obviously sponsored, which I'm like, I don't think you understand how it works. I would say it if it was a sponsored video, like I would literally say it. When I did the CoverGirl one, the lip swatch video, it's like the first thing I mentioned, the first 10 seconds, that it was like a collaboration video. And by the way, that video I was supposed to only swatch 12 colors, my 12 favorite colors, but I decided they sent me all the colors. If I was a viewer, what would I want to see? The whole thing. So that's what I did. I didn't have to, but I just thought it was the right thing to do. And I don't know. I feel like people like get super offended with uh, sponsored videos and I could do a full video on this and like hate comments too. But honestly, personally, I think there's nothing wrong with sponsored videos when they are done in a proper way, like in a smart way. If I'm filming this video and like for 10 minutes, I'm talking about this cup. The first 10 minutes of the video. You're not stupid. You're gonna know it's sponsored and it's just pointless. Like, just get on with it, you know? Those videos, I completely understand. I've watched YouTube for years. Like, I started watching YouTube 2010, 2011. So, I've seen, I've seen it all too. And I totally understand that, like, when there's like five videos that are on the same subject in your subscri subscription box and there's only one of those people that say it's sponsored, you know the other people are lying and it's offensive. Like it offends me when I see that. It's like, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> Which I don't know, maybe I take this a little too at heart, but being on the other side now, I receive emails like every day and I say no to 99% of them because I just don't want to. It doesn't make sense. It's not something I want to talk about. Like laxative tea, you know, I just don't want to talk about something that I consider dangerous, which laxative, especially on younger girls that are watching YouTube that are uh, really sensitive to these things, will believe you if you look good and everything they will want to be the same and they're gonna buy it and it can really destroy your stomach and honestly it's not long-term effect except the pain so you will never see me talk about these things or like uh voice trainer which i know a lot of people uh, love voice training but to be honest i don't like my organs being squished and I don't think someone under the age of 18 should do it. So that's why I'm not going to talk about it because I know a lot of young girls are on YouTube. So yeah, I feel like I'm going on a rant right now, but yeah, sponsored videos, as long as they're done in a good way. For example, Mac, which I'm not sponsored by Mac, I wish, uh, they asked me to do the lip swatch video with them. I would say yes, because it makes sense. That's something I would do. Or if they asked me to do a look using one of their lipstick, I would do it because I love Mac and I would probably do it no matter what, you know? So yeah, my opinion is that as long as they're done in the right way, as long as you're being open and honest about it, there's nothing wrong with a sponsored video. And as long as the person doesn't just do this, like if you do like four videos a month and four of them are sponsored, it's freaking annoying. But if you have like five videos a week and there's one of them once in a while that is sponsored, Heck yeah, go ahead, go make your money. You're totally allowed to, so. If you're gonna be disappointed because I do a sponsored video, I think it sucks, but it's probably gonna happen. It's just that I'm gonna let you know because trust me, there's a lot of people that do sponsored videos and don't tell you. And I think that's pissing me off more because I'm on the other side and I receive the same offers and 99% of the time I say no because I don't wanna talk about these products or it just doesn't make sense to only talk about positive or things like that. So when I see other people uh, talk about a product and they're not telling you that they receive it for free or that uh, they are being sponsored, it pisses me off. And in the past, I have stopped following some people because of that. And I know I just don't trust some people because of that. And I completely understand that it can be the case with other people. I guess I got pretty annoyed when someone told me that because yeah. I wasn't sponsored for doing a half and a half video on ColourPop. Because the product didn't work for you and it worked for me doesn't mean I'm lying, you know? <laughs> I think it happens a lot, like that some product will work for some people and not for other. It doesn't mean we're all liars. So yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. So that's gonna be it for today because I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be super long. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.